I got a new microphone. <laughs> From last, good morning. <laughs> From last Monday and through Thursday, I had a chance to go to the New Denver. So, uh, New Denver by driving, driving a car. So, I took the number three road to the. I. Then I took the number three road, and then uh, on the way I found the uh, fruit stand, the fruit market, and I stopped. Uh, we we stopped the car and then get some fruit uh, on the on the fruit market, and then after I passed the road, there were twenty of them. <laughs> <laughs> so oh, there's just many many fruit stuff. So next time I stop all around the, because the, when I bought the I saw the box of the peach it said twenty pound for twelve dollars but when I passed others they said twenty pound for ten dollars <laughs> <laughs> anyway so we went to the. Uh, we slept flat the Emir Y M I R hotel one night, and next day we went to the Onsen hot spring. Have you been there? Uh, Amesworth. 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 And uh, um, very very nice hot spring. So we we took the hotel near the near the onsen and then uh, and <coughs> we went to the onsen for three hours. <laughs> then next morning we went to the uh, we drove the drove to the New Denver and then we passed the um send and then uh Castro Nelson and the town. But before, I didn't know the Japanese Canadian internment camp there. I didn't know about it. And I thought that the camp was in Alberta. Camp, no, it, it was in DC, Japanese internment camp. So it's good to go there. And then so when when I stepped by the uh, New Denver, there was a uh, Nikkei a museum, and they display the display the a picture of their internment camp and so on. And one thing very I was very impre uh, impressed. Uh, one parents or parents with their small children. Around, around the not not the elementary school, it's around the five and four and ca Caucasian um, family came to the came to the the Nikkei Museum, and the mother explained to the small one, you know, they were born in Canada, but they went to the camp. And then she explained to the small one. I was very impressed. And then she took the kids around there and then showing them. And I was also there's a, a many people came to the UK museum displaying the what how Japanese Canadian uh, went to the internment camp during the Second World War. <coughs> Today our Bible is telling about journey. The people of Israel, they came out from their Egypt and then they traveled for 40 years to get into their land God promised. Then, uh, certain years later, and 
finally they got a King David and a King Saul <coughs> and David, but they are not allowed to have the temple for God. Always during their journey, the God lead them to buy their uh, fire uh, fire pillow and then uh, cloud pillow of the cloud and they was guided and then but what we want to know sometimes the people of Israel they succeed to follow the God and they walk before God. Today, our first reading of the uh, Old Testament and King Solomon asked God, let me walk front of the God. But after that, what happened? The kings, some kings walk and some kings walk front of God, but some fail. Also, our gospel today, Jesus asked, uh, uh, Jesus showed to people, take my body and take my blood and follow me. But sometimes they failed. And especially the disciple uh, today, when Jesus shared the story, you leave me and take my body and my blood. And then, some people couldn't understand. They failed to follow Jesus. But in this story, God showing us, God is showing us, sometimes we fail and then come back. Like it's a story of the of beginning of the story. The Canada, in Canada, there's a story of internment camp. The Canadian uh, during the war and then they make uh, they were on justice for the Japanese Canadian people. But the mother the government government and also the children of the mother showing them not to do again. It is a story our face also saying, sometimes we fail, fail to follow God, and sometimes we start to, um, we have a hesitation to follow God, but never mind, go with God, again and again. Those of parents showing the children how did before, but it's not criticizing the uh, thing, <coughs> just reminding what we will walk together. Today, our bulletin, there's the picture. It's from the second reading from the, our Bible text. <coughs> and it's poor. Saint Paul uh, tell to the uh, Ephesian and then ask them to tie your belt with tooth and uh, breastplate of breastplate for the breastplate with the righteousness. <coughs> And the center of peace, sword of the spirit, the helmet of salvation, the um, sword of the spirit is the uh, is the word of God, and then take it's a showing them um, they make an example through them because at that time Roman soldier put on the armor. So, but important thing, there's one, one important thing. If our armor not 
pretty well all the time. And it doesn't it doesn't work well. <laughs> we have to look at it. So also um, so we cannot prepare all things, but uh, some we prepare little and little. Listen to there's a lot of uh, games for the children. They and then the, through the computer and smartphone. And they travel. And then people, kids love to play the game. But to travel there, to succeed to the travel, they need to get good armor. And they play day by day, playing game. Like uh, for us, we need to day by day to be a fence us. So we walk with God together.